it's Pinkmon and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So today I'm gonna be recruiting the legendary dogs and Mewtwo because I realized um, in this remake the Mewtwo dungeon is only 20 floors and the original it was 99 floors so I figured I'd be saving that for last but 20 is definitely not bad. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head in to get Suicune first. That's a western cave, that's where Mewtwo's at. But um, I'm gonna go get Suicune first and since I just showed you the dungeons on the last episode for the uh, legendary dogs, um, I'm just gonna skip right to the boss fights for them because I had to beat them first um, before recruiting them this time. They should be automatically recruited when I beat them this time. And their dungeons are only 30 floors each so yeah I figured I'd throw all four of these legendaries into one episode. You mean to challenge me? I find little satisfaction in fighting. However, if you refuse my demands that you leave, I will accept your challenge. Experience it. My true power. Unleashed. Alright, so here we are at the Suicune fight. Um, the dungeon was not too bad at all, actually. And we've got a whole bunch of Pokemon here um, that hopefully will survive this fight so I can recruit them on my team. Um, I decided to bring Blossom along with me just because I feel like we haven't really used her. I felt like she'd be pretty useful in this fight. Wow, really I'm missing already. <laughs> So a couple days ago, the Crown Tundra trailer came out, and I guess Crown Tundra is coming out on October 22nd, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure if I will be able to record that right when it comes out, because I don't know the exact day I'm moving. But I do know I'm supposed to be leaving this month. So yeah, I don't know. That series could come out a little late, like everyone's probably gonna already be done playing Crown Tundra by the time I get it out, but isn't that kind of true of all of my Pokemon series? <laughs> I feel like everyone was already done with Sword and Shield by the time I finished it, and everyone was probably already done with- oh, the fight's over. <laughs> Team Pinkmon's courage and the fierce battle left an impression on Suicune. You can now access the Sacred Field Camp and... Suicune, join your team. Level 50 and it has Strike Back. Cool. Okay. Next, I think I'm gonna do Raikou. So I will meet you at that fight. This is Lightning Field. My domain. To all those who enter, I show no mercy no matter what. With my electric bolts, I will devastate you again. Okay. So I brought Groudon with me this time. Probably brought him last time I fought Raikou, right? <laughs> That's a nice um, ability on that electric. I did keep it with me because of its ability, a lightning rod. So basically it absorbs all the electric attacks. So if that thing does any type of electric attack, it, I don't think it'll affect anyone on the team. If I'm understanding its ability correctly, that's like really good to have actually. So... I am getting sleepy right now. I woke up at like 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> um, and this very monotonous uh, playing without talking or anything is making me really sleepy, but I still have Entei and Mewtwo to get. And I'll be playing, um, I'll be playing through the Mewtwo thing while talking. Just cause we've never been there yet. T 
Team Pinkmon's courage in the fierce battle left an impression on Raikou. Level 50, just like the others, and it has a leap ahead. I really like that, um, that rare quality. Cool, and I will see you at the Entei fight. This is the fiery field. It is no place for your kind. I am Entei. I live surrounded by the fiery lava of volcanoes. Depart from here. Immediately. Okay, and we are finally on the final um, legendary beast fight before we head into the western cave to get me to. So about Crown Tundra, which the trailer came out for a few days ago, um, I guess all the legendaries are going to be available, which is actually really nice, but I only watched the trailer once and was only half paying attention. It seems like you actually need, um, like, legit real life people to get them, like friends to do the, um, raid battles with. I don't know. So if that's the case, I'm gonna have to actually find real people who play Pokemon to do that, but I think it's really nice that um, all the legendaries from all past games will be available, um, just because that way we'll have easy access to them on the Switch, because it can be kind of a hassle to switch um, or to transfer Pokemon from like the older games to Pokemon Bank and all those other Things. I don't even remember. I have some legendaries in some of the older games that for some reason the game um, registered them as cheated Pokemon, like fake Pokemon, even though they weren't. <laughs> so it wouldn't let me transfer them. But yeah, I think that'll be really nice so we can make sure we get all of the legendaries on the Switch and then hopefully like in future generations it'll be easier to transfer Pokemon. Team Pinkmon's courage in the fierce battle left an impression on Entei. And of course he's also level 50 and he has riled up. Awesome. Okay, so it's time to finally get Mewtwo. So I noticed before that Spinda looks like he has something else to say. Let's go check in with this little dude. Wh 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 what You've seen the Mirage Pokemon? Wh wh what sort of a Pokemon was it? I see. I see, I see. Ah, understood. So, it is named ho -Oh. Ah, I see indeed. Truly, truly, I envy you. Rah! <laughs> what? I... You... You've made me open my eyes. Well, they still look googly, but still. <laughs> the lesson is, we mustn't ever give up. Because if you give up, that's when it ends. Thank you. You have inspired me to resume my travels. I will again travel the world to find rare Pokemon, perhaps even before you. Farewell. I mean, we could introduce you to Ho-Oh because he's on our team now, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so even though Mew is not like a super great matchup against Mewtwo, and I'm kind of worried about the fact that it has, it seems to have like really low HP. It's like 97 or something, even though it's level 63. I don't know. But I just like the idea of Mew fighting Mewtwo, so we're bringing it. It's fine. <laughs> so we're off to the Western Cave, and it's only 20 floors. But from what I read, uh, Mewtwo actually, I think, mega evolves in this battle, so it's probably going to be a little tough but I think we'll be fine. I did bring three empowerment seeds for us to take for the um, Me Too fight. Might as well start by just eating an eye drop seed. All right, and we are going to auto mode most of this as usual. Just kind of makes it easier, I don't know. Oh, we're already out of, um, thorns. Guess I only had a couple left over from Fiery Field. Yeah. 
so I've gotten progressively more sleepy <laughs> as I've been recording. Ooh, Ralts wants to join us, sure. Awesome. Hopefully we can get a full team up here to fight this Mewtwo because I feel like it's gonna be a little tough even though there's only 20 floors, I don't know. I'm probably hyping it up for nothing. Oh wait, I think I saw an item. I brought a whole bunch of um, healing items so we should be fine. But I am gonna do the method of just going straight to the stairs when I see them. Um, instead of clearing every single room in here just because I kind of want to hurry up and do this. I've been recording like mm, how many hours? What time is it? <laughs> it's now four. Okay, I've been recording around four hours then um, since the start of this even though I'm sure the video is super short because I only put the boss fights but yeah. I do want to get through this fairly quickly. Um, let me just get that one item though. Basil makes it so easy in these big rooms. <laughs> oh yay, I'm used level 64. As you can see, me and Basil are now in the 80s. And I noticed, um, remember Noodle the Weedle? I got rid of nicknames and everything, but now that he's a Beedrill, he's actually like the highest level thing on my team right now. And I really don't know how it got like higher level than me and Basil, but it, last time I checked it was like level 86. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I guess it just um, gains levels faster. Like it requires less experience points than us to level up. So as it's been kind of experience sharing in the Pokemon camp, um, it somehow ended up higher level than us, which is just kind of funny to me. It's like, oh, this little baby bug somehow became tougher than all of us. <laughs> okay. I'm really happy to be getting four legendaries done in one um, episode because we are getting towards the end of this series and I would really love to have it be done before um, this month is over if possible. I'm gonna try, I've been pre-recording. I pre-recorded a whole bunch of Sims videos cause as you know, I'm moving. I need to kind of just schedule as many as I can since I won't have my PC. So now I really, it's kind of hard to pre-record a bunch of Pokemon videos because now that we're in the post game, section of this it takes like four hours to do a video like this <laughs> well more than four hours by the time i'm done with it um but yeah because it's a whole lot of dungeon grinding i was looking at the other legendaries when i was deciding like which ones i wanted to do today and um most of them are like 99 floor dungeons so i'm like oh no <laughs> like it's gonna be a lot but yeah, basically whenever I record Pokemon videos, I have to set aside an entire day to do one video. Um, and yeah, it, it's still fun, but it does take a lot of time, so it is hard to kind of like um, queue up a whole bunch of videos on my schedule. I'm really hoping though that I can get all the legendaries and just finish this series up before October, or at least before, definitely before the year ends. <laughs> and preferably, I would like to finish this before Crown Tundra even comes out. Um, today is October 1st, the day I'm recording this, and then um, Crown Tundra comes out the 22nd. Um, so I'm not 100% sure if I'll be able to finish before then, but I kind of hope so. I really like the look of this dungeon. It's kind of pretty and flowery. Um, I'm not sure why they changed the dungeon to be only 20 floors to get Mewtwo. 
I'm not, I, I have no idea why they made it so much easier. Maybe it's because, are there more, um, are there more 99 floor dungeons than the previous games? I don't know. I, it's been so long since I've played those old games, but I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty happy about it because I would not be um, happy, oops, I would not be happy to be um, going through a 99 floor dungeon right now after doing three 34 dungeons in a row. So effectively I've done 90 floors already. <laughs> By the end of this, it'll be uh, 110. So from what I've read, um, I haven't full on confirmed this, but it seems like the hardest dungeon in the game is going to be the Celebi one. It's 99 floors, but um, apparently it's like super hard. I don't, I'm not really sure why. I didn't read the details because I don't really want to spoil it, but I did read that when I was looking up this dungeon. So, the Celebi one is probably going to be what we save for last, if that's possible. I know you have to go through um, some dungeons to unlock other ones, so I'm not sure if I can do that one last, but yeah. It's going to be, hopefully, our last one. And then I'll probably do like one little update video after I get all the legendaries. Um, it might come out like... A while later it's kind of like a bonus episode just showing you like my completed um, team I guess by the way I should probably look up if I need to take the empowerment seeds before we hit um, floor 20 I'm not really sure how that works like if I take it on floor 19 and then go into the Mewtwo fight um, Will I still be empowered or do I have to take them when the Mewtwo fight starts? I'm not 100% sure. I should probably Google it. I really like empowerment seeds though. They can be super helpful, especially if you have a Pokemon that can mega evolve. Like when I've used them on my Kyogre in the past, that was really awesome because it, I mean, it's not mega evolved, but it was like, what is it called? Uh, whatever form that Kyogre takes, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I'm literally so tired right now, I can't even think. Uh, let me just eat this training seed. Actually, I could have probably switched that with an apple, but whatever. Okay, Mew, hopefully you can handle whatever the heck you're doing over there. I always get worried when I have a team member get separated like that. And it sounds so much more dramatic than it actually is, probably. Because <laughs> it just starts making all kinds of noises. And it sounds like it's some really intense fight when it's probably not even that big of a deal. Alright, halfway through. I wish I had an item to throw at this thing. I did put um, Dark Pulse on Mew just to give it something to do well against Mewtwo. Um, wait, why can't I figure out how to do this again? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I literally forgot how to do the like skip a turn thing without wasting a, without wasting PP. Okay. <laughs> See, see how dramatic that sounds? Somebody was getting into a big fight over there. <laughs> Ooh, Curlia. Please join my team. Pretty sure we can um, recruit the Gardevoir from like the main storyline later on. Um, so I don't really want to evolve a Curlia if I do end up getting one because I want to have that one, that special one. Uh, 
Oh, we do have Geo Pebbles now. Eh, we don't need this box, whatever. It's not that important. I just don't want to get rid of any of the items because I'm worried for this fight. It's just like, I'm like, is this a joke because only 20 floors makes me feel like there's some kind of, I don't know, trick to it. Like it's gonna be a super, super strong fight. So that's why they just decided to only do 20 floors. So you go into it thinking, oh, only 20 floors. That's not a big deal. This is gonna be easy. But then like, it's actually super hard when you fight the Mewtwo. I don't know. I'm a little worried. Who do I get rid of? Meditate. Bye. All right. Ooh, yay, a mystery house. And I do have an invitation. Oh my God, I got the most disappointing mystery house. It was a plusle and I already have a plusle and that's it. And I wasted my invitation. And then the next like two floors later was another mystery house and I didn't have another invitation. I was kind of mad. I usually, I only bring one with me. Um, hopefully this is something cool that I need. Ah. I already have a mobile, I'm like 99% sure. Lame. You know what, we don't need Geo Pebbles that bad. <laughs> What's this, ooh. Revive all orbs can be useful. Should probably... Uh... You know what? Screw the apple. <laughs> we'll be fine. I'll just eat this right now. And then, meh, we don't need the boxes. Let me just make sure I have a mobile. I'm like pretty sure I do. Um, yeah, I do already have one. Watch how sad this is if you say no though. Too bad, Mawile left looking sad. No, isn't that the worst? I feel really bad, but I already have one. I probably could have just gotten rid of one of those drowsies, but I don't know. Well, I'll probably get rid of one of them now. Actually, I already have Hypno, so no. As I've mentioned in some of the past parts, I'm trying to collect like every Pokemon. So like every stage of evolution. So I already have Hypno, but I don't have Drowsy because I have all of my Drowsy. So that's why I kept a Drowsy. Whoa, speaking of Drowsy. Um, yeah, we're not going to revive that. <laughs> and that Lunatone's probably about to get rocked by that thing. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not too bothered. Ah, oh no, what? All right, I got separated, that's fine. So far this dungeon hasn't been all that hard. Dang, I feel like we spent forever on floor 10. So, are you guys excited for Crown Tundra? I don't think there was all that much info about it in the trailer. Um, it didn't seem to show all that much, so I don't exactly know um, what's even gonna happen aside from the legendaries being available in the deep, whatever it was called, like the deep underground raid battles, max raid battles. But I am excited for it. It's coming out around the time I figured it would. And 
one thing about it is I really like the, um, is it a legendary or a mythical Pokemon? Whatever the thing is with the like, the big head. <laughs> I'll, I'll insert a picture of it on the screen. Um, I forget the name, but yeah, I really like the look of that one as opposed to um, the one that came with Isle of Armor, whose name I already forget. Oh my god. <laughs> Like I said, I woke up at like 4 in the morning. I'm really tired right now. And my brain is just kind of mush right now. I feel like I'm playing on... Well, I am playing on autopilot. I mean, auto mode. <laughs> but like, also autopilot as far as me speaking right now. It's like words are just coming out of my mouth. and I'm <laughs> As my brain just feels like mush. But you know, the Pokemon I'm talking about... darker now. I think the music changed. There's no more flowers. <laughs> and I am noticing the Pokemon in this dungeon, even though there's only 20 floors, it seems like they are a lot higher in level just based on- ooh, a monster house. Just based on the fact that they're taking like a lot more hits to faint than some other dungeons Pokemon. Like usually if Basil does a a petal blizzard, things faint in like one hit. Uh, all right, let's throw this one shot orb. Well, that got like one thing out. <laughs> uh, nah, mm. might be useful to have this thing though. I'm gonna let it join, get rid of one of the I'll get rid of Chimeco. Oh, that actually fainted a whole bunch of things. I thought it was only one for some reason. Uh, nah, you can, you can go Chimeco. I don't need you. Dang, okay. That really knocked out a whole bunch of things. Um, I don't have a Grumpig, so I guess I'll take this actually. Now, who am I giving the boot to? Uh, this clay doll actually won't be that useful. Bye. <laughs> Yay, he's leveled up. Wait, that actually took out everyone except for the Spinda? That's funny. Ooh, who is, I think Lunatone's almost dying over there. <laughs> All right. Maybe that's the Spinda from Pokemon Square. I wonder if they have Spindas with different patterns in this game. Spindas, I don't know how many patterns they come in, but they do come in a whole bunch of different patterns. Ooh, did I level up too? Nice. Mew has um, XP boost for its uh, rare quality, so that is probably why we're all gaining levels a lot faster than usual. Let me register these. Okay. To be honest, that wasn't bad at all. That one shot orb really worked out. All right, two more floors to go. Can you tell I'm excited to be done? <laughs> all right. So now what I need to do right before I take the stairs is figure out if I 
um, have to wait to use the empowerment seeds until the fight starts with me to, or if I should take them right before heading to that floor. Um, I can't remember if the effect lasts into the boss fight or not, so I'm gonna do a quick Google. Hopefully I can find the answer. There's not all that much info on things like that on this game available on the internet. Certain things I've Googled I cannot find an answer to and I just have to kind of figure them out myself, but I don't know. That was a little overkill on my part. <laughs> All right, here's the stairs and somebody is almost dying. Cool. All right, let me Google this real quick. Okay, well, I can't find the answer as I kind of thought would happen, but I did end up finding another empowerment seed in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little experiment. I'll take one and if it ends up being a waste, that's okay. Then we'll all just, um, we'll all just take the three that I have left once the Mewtwo fight starts. Maybe I can use like a, a seal orb on him or something. All right, so here we go. Ah! <laughs> Was it you who disturbed me in my sleep? Was it you? My name is Mewtwo. I came into being only to fight. I have secluded myself here in suspended animation. Would you like to know why? It's quite simple. If anyone such as you were to come along, I could defeat them at full power. Come on. All right, am I still awakened? I am, okay, so I probably should have taken those um, before, but it's fine. So let me see for these orbs. I already know he's gonna mega evolve. I'm not sure which form he mega evolves into, but all right. So let me start with this faux hold orb. Hopefully nobody goes and attacks it. Hopefully everyone just moves. Okay. Um, then let's get the main team members awakened or actually in Basil's case, she's going to mega evolve. Yes! Mega Venusaur! Okay. And... Alright, well... Mew! <laughs> last time Mew did not, like, attack. Last time we brought it to a, one of these boss fights. It just, like, sat back there and did nothing. I don't know why it does that. But I'm going to empower Mew as well. Hopefully it'll actually try to battle. All right, Mew. Now come attack this thing. Stop throwing rocks at it. Oh my god, Mew. Can you un if I unregister that, will it? Oh, hmm. I'm not gonna revive that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not wasting my seeds. Let me actually fight this thing though, come on. Oh, I don't have a Smeargle though, but it's still not worth it. I don't know how tough this is gonna be, so I'm saving all of those for the main team members. Okay, finally in range to fight this thing. Okay, dang. The damage I do while empowered is so great. Ooh, thanks for confusing that thing. I love how it holds its head when it's confused. That's so cute. Oh, but I really want this Ralt. All right, I'll use one on this Ralt. <laughs> Just because I really want it. Dang. The damage I'm doing is crazy. This fight's probably not going to be that hard with these empowerment seeds. I got Dark Pulse Miss. You know what? These randos that we picked up have been kind of helpful. Like Grumpy confused it, Lunatone put it to sleep, not too shabby. A lot of times the randos you pick up, they don't do all that much. Oh, here comes the Mega Evolution. Ew! <laughs> oh my god, that looks- I feel like Mega Mewtwo looks so creepy. 
It's kind of cute though, actually. <laughs> it's like it gets smaller. It looks more like actual Mew. Um, mm, you know what? I have a lot of seeds. I'll just use it. And I don't care that much about Lunatown. <laughs> no offense. Just like probably one of my least favorite Pokemon. Sorry if you're a Lunatone fan. It's just not cute. Side strike. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna use one more on Ralts and hopefully I can survive the rest of this without having to waste any more seeds. The damage that the, the little new team members do is just like, wow, okay. Um, sorry, but I'm just gonna say bye to that Luna Zone. We can always come back here and get a new, another one. It's not that hard. It's only 20 floors, so. Okay. I'm assuming this fight should be almost done. I mean, how hard could it be? We've done so much damage to this. And whenever you recruit these bosses, I feel like um, they're way weaker than when you actually fight them. <laughs> it's like they're temporarily stronger for the fight, I feel like. Oh, yay! We did it, and I did the... The kill strike. <laughs> Team Pinkmon's courage in the fierce battle left an impression on Mewtwo. You can now access the cryptic cave camp and level 70. Nice. Pretty sure that is the strongest one that's joined our team, right? And it has steamroll. Cool. Awesome! I'm so happy I actually got done all the things I wanted to do. The next morning. I don't know if anything's gonna be triggered right now because I just got Mewtwo. Let's find out real quick and then I can end this episode. Good morning, Emma. All right, I guess it's just a normal day. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is off camera, I'm gonna do some regular missions because we have 40 and we haven't been able to get any new mail for a while because there's so many jobs. I'm just gonna kind of strengthen the team up and in the next episode, we'll be doing kind of a similar thing, taking on legendaries, but it's gonna be probably the longer um, caves. We have to do the Medicham rescue and I think that is the cave where we can get Celebi, but that is like the, freaking hardest one so I kind of want to save that one for last I don't know but we have a few more legendaries to get like Lugia, Celebi, we have to get Gardevoir but I think that's the last one you do it's obviously not a legendary but you know what I'm saying it's a post-game recruiting thing um actually if I go to the main menu will it tell me yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to get. Obviously, Lugia, Celebi, Gardevoir, and then three more. Who are the last three? I don't know, but I can't think of them right now. I'm literally like, my brain is mush. I've been playing for five hours straight. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, but yeah. I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>